Yo, Joe, Saturday morning cartoons. Yes, G.I. Joe, Revenge of Cobra. There is a link in the description. I will try to make sure I've got that there for you guys to get this. There's an official G.I. Joe channel, and they have 24-7 G.I. Joe. So I found this entire thing. So instead of having five episodes they put it all together for the 40th anniversary special so it's just the hour and 40 minutes movie all together so you get like commercial break segues but you have it all put together for you and it was a blast so i can tell you this um i'm not trying to put gi joe on the same plane with batman and probably not even x-men but this is really a really good show and a fun show for kids in particular. It gives you what they want. Now, the formula for this miniseries has a lot of similarities to the last miniseries in, in the sense of Cobra versus Joe, manufactured reason for three different MacGuffins that we got to go get. So we have different teams that are put into different scenarios, like a jungle situation, a desert situation, a snow situation. Different characters replace characters from last time to showcase different skills. So for instance, we have significantly less Duke and Scarlet in this episode, barely any at all. And it's replaced by Flint and Lady J who are elevated to be like star status as well. And this is, this goes for many, many characters and the show does this very well. I know people have bash Saturday morning cartoons. GI Joe is front and center with this because it's about, selling action figures, selling toys and doing all that kind of stuff. And I got to be honest, I don't care. It's great. So the music is a lot of fun. Obviously, it's all the stuff you remember and I remember. So let's do it. See how G.I. Joe likes the bite of a sneak. Yeah, that voice, that 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 anger and frustration, that snarky sound that he has. It's 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 a lot of fun. Now, you know, obviously what is frustrating um, anyone would feel this way if you're trying to be intellectually honest is um, they didn't want to show death and dismay. Right. So we don't see you see all these little laser blasts, but you don't see people blow up. You don't have, you know, a bunch of death. It's like they're, they're going to hit, you know, empty things they are going to knock things over. They're going to do things like that. So, it, again, it was for it was for like little kids. This was supposed to be for little kids. And so you have this battle for these different items and the, and, the, and, it, and it culminates with this concept of having this weather machine and in the process of this big battle over some of that you have duke getting captured again but they get cobra commander and you have a quick little setup with them capturing a couple of the other uh, american leaders and now they're under uh, control of zartan who can now impersonate him which by the way is a really was, misery it was a really good effect it's just not done again so it's kind of weird that like they play up Zartan, they play up his ability to shape shift and mimic and those kinds of things, but then it's sort of like kind of forgotten. Um, but he and Baroness are going to be able to uh, basically uh, manipulate the situation so that um, Cobra Commander gets out. Destro does take a little bit of a backseat. They use here's like the Cobra headquarters in the desert. Here's that sequence I was telling you about with uh, Cobra Commander getting sort of worked and. And how all this works here, they use a gas to uh, sneak everybody out and get away out into the bayou. I love Gung Ho. So this this mini series really showcased Gung Ho for me. I really had a good time with Gung Ho. What a more Gung Ho, basically. Uh, but tons of stuff. And just there's some like there are some really silly elements to the show in the sense of um, they have like a tornado thing and these planes are literally like sideways and stuff it's like it's just totally ludicrous there's no chance that these planes would stay in the air but you know what we were having I, here's what i feel like i feel like the gi joe cartoon was self-aware that the people would watch this cartoon buy the toys and then pretend that they were acting out those type of sequences without killing people that was what was happening it really was a moral lesson about um you know, the love of action and adventure and all of that without having to get gruesome or graphic or anything like that. So uh, Destro is not as interesting in this episode. Major Blood is not that interesting in this episode. Zartan is definitely a lot more front and center. Here's a, here, obviously, there's a, ja a joke that everybody can crack a joke about. Um, I really I really don't care for Cobra Commander and the, like, the drape. 
and the look with the blue eyes and stuff like that. I really like the chrome dome thing he's got going on. I know he switches back and forth, but um, there's a little thing with the vines. And the vines going crazy, and of course Zartan knows the secret, but the Joes don't, so they have to figure that out so they can survive. And you end up with this sort of like, and obviously it's five episodes, so you have three episodes in the middle of basically this whole big thing about how to deal with the weather device, the attacks on the world, they create hail, they, they, you know, we can do this, we can do that. Meanwhile, you have, you know, this sort of uh, junkyard and Flint and different characters that are kind of brought into everything here. Um, I just really, really loved all of this. I think I just had such a good time with all the different characters coming into play, bringing in new characters. Uh, this is one of those new characters. And obviously, she's one of the least interesting of ones. Um, but she does. She, she has a moment where she helps save the day, too. So good on her. Um, so yeah, just you know, Lady J is great. I enjoy Lady J. She was very innovative in this episode, in this movie. So this is Spirit. Spirit has a quick moment of he's going to go in here to get this thing, and he ends up in this great sort of like standoff with um. Let's say his right name Storm Shadow. Did I got that right? I'm sorry, guys. I'll make sure I check because I don't want to. You guys, you guys know this stuff way better than I do. I don't want to. I don't want to miss people. Storm Shadow, right? Yeah, Storm Shadow. So they sort of end up in a draw. They kind of had they, they're trapped for their life and they kind of have to set their differences aside for a minute to make sure they can actually survive and then we'll figure it out later on. Um, I also, I okay, so that when they go into this thing and it's booby trapped, um, this is them fighting over the, the thing and there's like this booby trap with this. The, this is the cobra one that they use to fight this. I don't know what these things are called, but. Uh, I didn't care for any. So this was probably my least favorite seek. I was like, oh, oh, I just didn't care for any of that. Maybe because it's not something cool. Like it wasn't like a plane or a jet or a tank or something like I didn't really enjoy. Um, but yeah, this was uh, Lady J being innovative and creative, saving the day and things like that. I really enjoyed all that. So and this is just this back and forth battle over getting all the pieces. Deathstroke's got a role to play. Storm Shadow, I mentioned, of course. Zartan's stealing pieces and things like that. And it's just this constant back and forth. I will say one thing I, I kind of forget a little bit about the show is they really, uh, uh, first off, let me say, it is repetitive. So I'm not going to try to you know pump it up as though it's good in the sense of it not being repetitive. But I'm very, very aware of it being repetitive. But let me say this. Um, it, the, the musical score is actually kind of addictive. A little bit, to be honest. I'm trying to find this sequence. Yeah, this is the sequence coming up. Yeah. This sequence, it's like played twice. Like it's, it's the exact same animation twice and it just bothered the snot out of me. Very, very cheap. Very, very Scooby-Doo. Shouldn't have done that. We all noticed. Um, and you just you just you just love the fact that you know you've got all these great characters that are coming through. Roadblocks got a big role to play. Uh, the fight over everything. And we're in the air. We're in the sea. We're in the snow. We're all this. It's just so much fun adventure stuff. And like I said, I feel like the show gets sort of a bad rap of being sort of like a mindless advertisement for toys. When in fact, I feel like it was a great, it's a generic story, good versus bad, steal some stuff, fight over some stuff, whatever. And then, oh, we capture people. We capture, we don't, it's not about killing everybody, murder people. It's not anything gross or anything like that. It's just a very, it taps into the human experience of kids and their imagination and play. And I think that it's a shame that it, it, it's, it's not embraced by more people and it, it definitely doesn't hold up um, with the new stuff like it did back then. This was just a lot of fun. And, and it's, it, because the story is very dynamic, it gives everyone opportunities. You have multiple people who are able to be heroic. You have multiple people who are able to do cool things like here's Storm Shadow coming in and stealing the total ninja move, man. You have these fights that are breaking out with Zartan. And then, of course, the, the ultimate conflict between Zartan and Destro as well. And Cobra Commander is like a total wuss and simp for Zartan, man. It's, it's nuts. And then there's much more conflict with Cobra Commander before the, the fight starts to come to an end. And uh, 
you know, they, they end up getting the vines in there and it takes everything down. So I just really, I, I had such a good time with it. I did break it up into a couple, I, in some ways I wish I would have watched the episodes and not the film part. Um, cause it probably would have been better for me personally just because of how I watch everything. But I can say this, I had a good time doing it and I would think you would have a good time doing it. So anyway, I'll put that link there so you guys will have it. So you can refer to that as well, because I can tell you this, um, it was, um, it was a lot of fun. And it, it was really like easy to find playlists or other episodes and things like that so that I could um, get to the next thing. So it wasn't like it was like, real tricky to find this. So anyway, that's my take on this. Well, I know there are GI Joe fans out there. You guys let me know. Do one more week of GI Joe for sure. The first five episodes, I believe, of the next. I think the season actually starts now, right? But I'll, I'll double check, make sure I got the right story arc. I think there's five episodes on the 10th. I think I'll do that one. Then maybe I'll do something different. I know you guys have asked for more Transformers, He-Man, Thundercats, and I mean, there's a million more that we could probably go on about. I don't know what I'll do next, but we'll see. Do something different. Take care, everybody. Stay tuned later for some Batman, some other stuff. Talk to you soon. <laughs> My favorite quality about Pops is that he's incredibly honest. At least you always know where you stand with Pops. So I like that about him. He's not passive aggressive. He's not sneaky that way. He'll give it to you straight down, straight down both barrels. Yeah. <laughs> right?